Hi everyone, this is Mo Rashid from Sky Driving Team London UK Crippeton. I'm here again with one more educational video to help as many people as possible like you to drive safely and pass UK driving theory and practical test first time. Currently I like to give you an update regards to uh, after the coronavirus opening for the car theory and the practical test. From the 4th of July 2020 all theory tests will come as normal but will be uh, social distances will take place in the premises when you will be able to take your test and it will take at least six months to come things back to normal but it will be a precautionary for this from the 4th of July onwards uh, whenever you have a driving lessons there will be a complete uh, due to uh, this pandemic there will be a social distances every student should wear a mask and a gloves and same time when you go for the test that's what you have to do it while you are with the examiner as well no one allowed to be in your car a company there used to be an instructor allowed to do, be a company while you're taking a driving test same will be in the premises as well when you're taking the test there will be a two meter social distance although yet they have been reduced to a meter and a half but they're still keeping a safe distance for you to be able to take the test in a safe environment other theory or a practical test same time you need to be aware of it because of this corona virus or a pandemic there are a huge waiting list will be take place and there will be a lots of people will rush to find a date and try to take a practical and the theory test in a short time notice but my advice to all of you do take your time to practice make yourself confident to go and pass first time simple reason is that that if you rush to go and unfortunately or by god i mean god forbid if you're not successful there will be a longer waiting time for you to get another test to go and participate for the second attempt if you have not passed the first one that will be applied for the car as well so please please do not rush to take your theory and a practical test till you are a hundred percent confident to go for it i bring you this uh, one more video with another mock test for our official driving uh, vehicle licensing agency which is called dvsa official theory guide this 50 question in this mock test will be one of the important mock tests i am bringing for you now to practice with me to go ahead in this mock test i have come across a three very very important questions which i have answered them purposely wrong and you can see at the end of this video they are wrong questions which everybody will be uh, try to memorize it because i have a feeling that you will be getting these three questions in your actual uh, test on the dvsa uh, theory test uh, other thing i like to mention to you that when you are preparing for the theory please do watch this video channel which i have created for you to help as many people as like you to pass first time uh, currently pass rate is very low so please do consider watching minimum five video of hazard and the theory every test when you take the test either theory or practical you must be able to allow you to wash your hands uh, and same time they will allow you to uh, take the test after that if you're not wearing a glove so you must be washing your hands same time every test if you take either theory or a practical test there will be a compulsory for wearing a mask to keep you safe and be ready to wear it throughout the test now uh, it is our responsibility to make it safer let's go for today's mock test and please step by step you go through with me
Where would you see a Contra Flow bus lane? On a roundabout. On a dual carriageway. On an urban motorway. On a one-way street. You're driving at night with your headlights on main beam. A vehicle is overtaking you. When should you dip your headlights? Sometime after the vehicle has passed you. Before the vehicle starts to pass you. Only if the other driver dips their headlights. As soon as the vehicle passes you. When may you use hazard warning lights? When driving on a motorway to warn traffic behind of a hazard ahead. When you're double parked on a two-way road. When your direction indicators aren't working. When warning oncoming traffic that you intend to stop. What's the first thing you must do if you have a collision while you're driving your car? Call your insurance company. Stop only if someone waves at you. Call the emergency services. Stop at the scene of the incident. A driver's behavior has upset you. How can you get over this incident safely? Shout abusive language. Follow them, flashing your headlights. Gesture to them with your hand. Stop and take a break. How should you give an arm signal to turn left? You're carrying two 13-year-old children and their parents in your car. Who's responsible for seeing that the children wear seat belts? The children's parents. The front seat passenger. You, the driver. The children. What does this sign mean? Give way to trams. Give way to farm vehicles. Wait at the crossroads. Wait at the barriers. When may you cross a double solid white line in the middle of the road? To pass traffic that's queuing back at a junction. To pass a car signaling to turn left ahead. To pass a vehicle that's towing a trailer. To pass a road maintenance vehicle traveling at 10 mph or less. Which sign means, no entry.
How can you help to prevent your car radio being stolen? Park near a busy junction. Leave the radio turned on. Park in an unlit area. Install a security coded radio. Which sign shows that a tanker is carrying dangerous goods? What does this sign mean? Toilet ahead. No through road. T junction. Telephone box ahead. You're traveling along a motorway. When are you allowed to overtake on the left? When you warn drivers behind by signaling left. When in queues and traffic to your right is moving more slowly than you are. When the traffic in the right-hand lane is signaling right. When you can see well ahead that the hard shoulder is clear. What does this sign mean? Right hand lane closed ahead. Through traffic to use left lane. Right hand lane T junction only. 11 ton weight limit. What's the reason for traffic calming measures? To stop road rage. To make parking easier. To slow traffic down. To make overtaking easier. You've just gone through flood water. What should you do to make sure your brakes are working properly? Go slowly while gently applying the brakes. Accelerate and keep to a high speed for a short time. Stop for at least an hour to allow them time to dry. Avoid using the brakes at all for a few miles. Why do motorcyclists wear bright clothing? They must do so by law. It helps keep them cool in summer. The colors are popular. To make them more visible. You need glasses to read a vehicle number plate at the required distance. When must you wear them? When you think it's necessary. Whenever you're driving. Only at night time. Only in bad weather conditions. You're driving towards a zebra crossing. 
What should you do if a person in a wheelchair is waiting to cross? Wave to the person to wait. Continue on your way. Be prepared to stop. Wave to the person to cross. What does it mean if the Electronic Stability Control ESC, indicator lamp lights up while you're driving? The ESC system has activated. The ESC system is running a routine test. The ESC system has a fault. The ESC system is switched off. You're traveling in very heavy rain. How is this likely to affect your overall stopping distance? It will be no different. It will be doubled. It will be 10 times greater. It will be halved. You've just passed your first practical driving test. What will you have to do if you get six penalty points on your license in the next two years? Reapply for your full license immediately. Retake only your theory test. Retake your theory and practical tests. Retake only your practical test. What will happen if you hold the clutch pedal down or roll in neutral for too long? It will improve tire wear. It will use more fuel. It will reduce your control. It will cause the engine to overheat. What should you do when you're passing loose sheep on the road? Go very slowly. Briefly sound your horn. Pass quickly but quietly. Herd them to the side of the road. You're waiting to come out of a side road. Why should you look carefully for motorcycles? Motorcycles are usually faster than cars. Police patrols often use motorcycles. Motorcycles have right of way. Motorcycles can easily be hidden behind obstructions. You're at the scene of an incident. How could you help someone who's suffering from shock? Offer them a cigarette. Reassure them confidently. Offer them some food. Give them a warm drink. Which vehicle might have to take a different course from normal at a roundabout? Sports car. Estate car. Van. Long vehicle.
What should you do if you want to overtake a tractor but aren't sure that it's safe? Follow another vehicle as it overtakes the tractor. Speed past, flashing your lights at oncoming traffic. Sound your horn to make the tractor driver pull over. Stay behind it if you're in any doubt. vehicle why should you you're following a large vehicle why should you stay a safe distance behind it you'll give the driver a chance to see you in their mirrors you'll be able to corner more quickly you'll keep out of the wind better you'll help the large vehicle to stop more easily Your car requires an MOT certificate. When is it legal to drive it without an MOT certificate? When driving to an appointment at an MOT center. When driving the car with the owner's permission. When driving to an MOT center to arrange an appointment. Up to seven days after the old certificate has run out. What does this sign mean? Cycle route ahead. No cycling. End of cycle route. Cycle parking only. What does this sign mean? Two-way traffic straight ahead. Two-way traffic crosses a two-way road. Two-way traffic over a bridge. Two-way traffic crosses a one-way road. What must you do if your ability to drive is impaired during a period of illness? Stop driving until you're fit to drive again. Take smaller doses of any medicines. See your doctor each time before you drive. Take all your medicines with you when you drive. What does this sign mean? Airport Road noise Adverse camber Side winds You've stopped at a pelican crossing. What should you do if a disabled person is crossing slowly in front of you and the lights change to green? Wait for them to finish crossing. Sound your horn. Drive in front of them. Edge forward slowly.
Which lights should you switch on when daytime visibility is poor but not seriously reduced? Headlights and fog lights Front fog lights Dipped headlights Rear fog lights What will be affected if the road surface becomes soft in very hot weather? The tire grip The suspension The exhaust emissions The fuel consumption What's a statutory off-road notification, SORN? Information kept by the police about the owner of a vehicle. Information held by insurance companies to check a vehicle is insured. A notification to tell DVLA that a vehicle isn't being used on the road. A notification to tell DVSA that a vehicle doesn't have a current MOT. You stop on the hard shoulder of a motorway and use the emergency telephone. Where's the best place to wait for help to arrive? Well away from the carriageway. On the hard shoulder. Next to the phone. With your vehicle. Why is it dangerous to leave rear fog lights switched on after the fog has cleared? The bulbs would fail. They may be confused with brake lights. Electrical systems could be overloaded. Direction indicators may not work properly. How will your journey be affected by traveling outside the busy times of day? Your journey will use more fuel. Your journey will take longer. Your journey will be more hazardous. Your journey will have fewer delays. What does this sign mean? Road narrows. End of dual carriageway. Tall bridge. End of narrow bridge. Who's responsible for paying the vehicle tax? The registered keeper of the vehicle. The driver and vehicle licensing agency, DVLA. The driver of the vehicle. The car dealer.
You arrive at an incident. There's no danger from fire or further collisions and the emergency services have been called. What's your first priority when attending to an unconscious motorcyclist? Check whether they are breathing normally. Check whether they have any bruising. Check whether they are bleeding. Check whether they have any broken bones. safety in your vehicle before setting off on his journey to collect friends and then go on to a football match warren checks the tire pressures on his car part of his route is in an area that has road humps chicanes and narrowings arriving at his friend's house he waits for them to join him in the car his friends get into the car and he prepares to move off Arriving at their destination, Warren parks the car and as they are in a rush to get to the match, he forgets to take the sat-nav off the windscreen. It is essential that tire pressures are checked regularly. When should Warren do this? When tires are cold. After a lengthy journey. When tires are hot. After traveling at high speed. Road humps, chicanes and narrowings are used to increase traffic speed. Traffic calming measures. Always at major roadworks. A toll bridge approaches only. Warren is parked at the side of the road and will be waiting for some time for his passengers. What should he do? Use his headlights. Apply the steering lock. Switch off the radio. Switch off the engine. Warren's car passengers must wear seat belts, restraints if one is available unless they are exempt for medical reasons, under 14 years old, under 1.5 m, 5 feet, in height, sitting in the rear seat. If Warren has to leave valuables in the car, it would be safer to put them in a carrier bag, lock them out of sight, park near a bus stop, park near a school entrance. What does it mean if the Electronic Stability Control ESC, indicator lamp lights up while you're driving? The ESC system has activated. The ESC system is running a routine test. The ESC system has a fault. The ESC system is switched off.
What does this sign mean? Two-way traffic straight ahead. Two-way traffic crosses a two-way road. Two-way traffic over a bridge. Two-way traffic crosses a one-way road. Who's responsible for paying the vehicle tax? The registered keeper of the vehicle. The driver and vehicle licensing agency, DVLA. The driver of the vehicle. The car dealer. Congratulations all of you completed a 50 questions and all of you answered a 50 out of 50. Well done for that. Some of you found it a little bit difficult and trust me after these 50 questions all of yours all of me in every single of you your knowledge has increased and these are the questions which you have covered they are quite hard and a bit tricky. Let's come towards to this uh, special uh, clip which I'm making and adding for you at the end of this video. Driving Test Success is a, one of the best app in the market in the UK Great Britain which you can download and practice official questions from the DVSA for the UK car theory test. In this you will have uh, activate the pass guarantee and you will get the money back if you are not successful. You have to follow the criteria they give you five mock tests consisting you have to pass. All the practice questions are here with the one click. Each category, so you go through it and completed all the questions one by one. After that, you can take a mock test, the same mock test which I have done it now, which you can see it. All those questions, they are exactly questions, including a scenario or situation based at the last five questions, you will get in your actual theory day. Same time, the questions which you want to search afterwards, if you think is, uh, you need to practice more, you can type in the questions will come up. Or while you are reading or are doing a mock test or a study and you can uh, save your questions, which comes in a my question, which will give you a whole list of the questions which you like to read again. There will be those your questions and they will be there for you till you complete confident and release them from the my questions list. Then after that, at the drop down, you will see a progress monitor. It will keep your progress individually for the every mock test. The areas which you are reading, like a practicing categories by categories, will give you a feedback and tells you where you are stands. Underneath, you will see a stopping distance. Every one of us finding a difficulty to find a stopping distance because this is the calculation, a mathematic which you do hit, or you can memorize it based on the speed 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 miles and a stopping distance in a rain or a dry condition as well. Same time, it'll give you help and support. This is the app I've been using since 2000. Actually, this is uh, I've been using since 2003, but it was in a CD room and I used to give it to my students to practice and pass. Uh, I've been instructed since 2003 and, and this app, uh, it's changed it from CD-ROM to an app. Now everybody can download to into their Android or iOS phone. Uh, I want to help all of you, every single of you, every single of the person in the UK Great Britain to pass the few test first time. Uh, I cannot go and find everyone because I have a limited of time myself to teach everyone. So please spread this word and share this video, like this video, subscribe and click on the channel and click on the bell icon so you will get the all new notifications or new videos regularly. I'm making a video on a regular basis and you will get them. I'm on a mission to help as many as people to pass theory and the practical test for the UK Great Britain. So please help me and share this video. See you in the next video. Till then, you look after yourself and Lord of this universe bless you with a lot of love happiness 
and success. Amen.